This past week in Minneapolis, I might have traded in my heels for March. Let's talk some more about the Oscars by speaking to Beth Webb. She's a film and TV writer and is joining us from London. Beth, good to have you on the news hour. Now, we, as we heard from Mutal, there is the most diverse uh, awards ever. Um, have the Oscars, do you think, dealt with their diversity issue, especially that Oscars So White of 2015? I think we're getting there. It was certainly the most um, positive step that we've seen in that direction. I know that they've been taking active, large changes to improve diversity in their voting body. And you can certainly see the fruits of that labour and the awards last night. I still think we have a little way to go there, given that the two main acting awards last night, Best Actress and, and Best Actor, went to white actors when there were significant actors of colour within those categories. I know that we were certainly anticipating Chadwick Boseman to come away with Best Actor. That went to Sir Anthony Hopkins. Uh, and it was certainly predicted that the uh, change in format, usually it's Best Picture at the end, it was Best Actor at the end this time. I think the producers were preempting that it would be Chadwick Boseman. It went to Sir Anthony Hopkins. So I think we're still a little way to go, but it was a significant stride, especially with Chloe Zhao, the first woman of colour to walk away with the Best Director trophy, which is so significant and wonderful. Uh, it certainly is. Let's just pick up on the uh, Chadwick Boseman, Sir Anthony Hopkins thing. I mean, I've seen both of those movies, as I'm sure you have. I thought Hopkins in The Father was excellent. Boseman was great in Ma Rainey's, but Hopkins perhaps deserved the nod? I think... I was inclined to think so with the BAFTA. British uh, film bodies tend to favour their own. But I think considering Chadwick Boseman was at the end of his life when he performed in this film, he really did give it every inch of, of what he had. And to me, that is an awards-defining performance. So personally, I was a little bit disappointed. That said, I'm a huge fan of Sir Anthony Hopkins. He's 83. It's a wonderful achievement. I just think I would have preferred to have seen it go in the other direction. Yeah, it's a shame that Chadwick Boseman didn't get an award uh, last night. He may get one. I guess, in, in years to come. Now, uh, the ceremony itself was unique, obviously, with its socially distanced uh, tables, etc. What were your takeaways from the actual uh, night itself? It was certainly ambitious, and I really enjoyed it. It was a very cinematic event. I enjoyed the scripting. There was a, a lot of passion and appreciation for cinema that just isn't captured over Zoom um, and the kind of technical awkwardness that comes with jumping to and from Zoom uh, calls there. So I, I really enjoyed it. I think it looked beautiful. The stars really did warm to that format. It was nice to see some person-on-person -person interaction also. So I think it was all in all a success. Now, there's plenty more to talk to you about, but I'm being told I have to wrap it up pretty soon. So let's just talk about what you think the future of cinema is after this pandemic year. People haven't seen these movies on the big screen. I know that um, Francis McDormand called for everyone to go and see the movie on the biggest screen you possibly can. What does cinema have in its future, do you think? Well, I'm hoping that this isn't a one-off. I think it's so easy to write this off as, as a dud year because cinemas have been closed, because bigger releases have been withheld. But I hope that this award ceremony has proven the capability of diversity in Hollywood and that people will bear that in mind moving forward. OK, uh, Beth Webb there, the film critic from London. Thank you very much for being with us.